Refusing to worry them further, I'd swallow back the words, maybe never. I spent most of my time in my room, and that's the way I liked it. I had a routine. I spent my mornings reading the Iron Fae series. I spent my evenings listening to the mixtapes my dad had made for my mother. I was staying in her old room and had found her old cassette player. I spent my nights searching for monsters. On weekdays, I left the house for school, and on weekends, I left for church. That was it. The bell rang, shattering my thoughts like a fist through a mirror, and I bolted upright. Miss Myers was stacking books on her desk. Kids were already filing out of the classroom. I gathered my stuff and rose to do the same. Alice Bell, Miss Myers called before I could leave. Our gazes met, locked. I prefer Allie. She nodded and offered me a warm smile. I looked over your transcript from Carver Academy and liked what I saw. With straight A's, I'm guessing you didn't fall asleep in class. Ouch. I wasn't sleeping, I promise. Her smile grew, letting me know that she wasn't offended. I know reading and writing aren't everyone's favorite thing, but give me a chance tomorrow, okay? If you don't like what I'm saying, if I fail to engage you, fine. Sleep or daydream or whatever you want to call it. Fair enough. You have my word. Good. She motioned to the door with a tilt of her chin. Go on. You've got places to be, I'm sure. I stepped into the hall and prayed the world would suddenly end. Frosty and one of his more feral friends were waiting for me. Clearly. Their gazes zeroed in on me. Arrow meet bullseye and they leaped into motion, closing the distance between us. I bet they were here to warn me away from Cole.